Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And in today's video, I'll be showing you all around this brand new Mercedes Actros, the edition one, 1853. One of only 400 units being built by Mercedes. So yeah, a bit of a special one here to show you today. So I'll show you all around the exterior first, then we'll hop inside and go down through all the interior features. And then I'll be getting hooked underneath a trailer and taking it out on the road for a test drive. You ready? Let's go. So the edition one finished here in brilliant silver metallic with a deep black front grille. Very distinguishable on the road from the four spotlights up on the front visor there. And of course, edition one printed up on top here as well. So yeah, you'll be able to tell them coming against you on the road. 400 units being built, that is it. And of course we have the mirror cam, which I'll talk about more when we hop inside and when we head out on the road. And it also has the two air horns. We'll hear what they sound like later on. So yeah, we have the by Xenon headlights. We can do a light test here and the remote. We can lock and unlock the doors, of course, and we can take out the key as well from the bottom of the remote if we want to open the door manually. So that's handy, the way it clips in there. And we have the by Xenon headlights there as well. Uh, the same vents as before, they open and close depending on how much air the engine needs. And we have the pull out steps here, climb up and clean your windscreen. And the Mercedes star lights up at night as well, which is a nice touch. But yeah, I really like that black finish on the front grille. And we have loads of assistant features on this truck. I'll go down through them as well later on. Let's clip them back in and walk around the side. So yeah, we have super singles there at the front. They're a 55 profile Michelin and we have a 70 profile on the back axle. Uh, we have a two leaf spring set up on the front axle and we have a four airbag set up on the back axle. So I just want to show you the lockers here. So you gotta click it twice and we can open up this bottom locker. This is quite big. We can take out this if you want to have even more space in there, but that's quite a good size for a bottom locker. And we can just click that up and close it back down. Okay, so let's check out the top locker here. This is quite a good size as well. Yeah, it's even bigger on the driver's side because this section here is not um, on the driver's side. So that's okay. Very nicely done, edition one plaque there on the top. And we have the four stainless steel steps going up on top as well. So these are only on the edition one, but they look very, very nice. Okay, close that up. And at night as well, these light up and they shine a Mercedes star on the ground um, underneath the indicators here. So that's a very nice touch, isn't it? At night to see that, okay. Uh, walking around, let's check out the catwalk, or as Mercedes call it, the frame cover. So yeah, everyone else calls it the catwalk, Mercedes call it the frame cover. And the chassis there, nicely painted in black. Now we have two diesel tanks, we have a 720 liter and a 430 liter diesel tank. We've got a 75 liter add blue tank. And you'll see there, you can connect your positive and your negative here as well if you want to jump start a truck. So that's quite good. These levers are just for taking off the side skirt. And there's one there as well. Uh, we have a fixed fifth wheel position there and your air deflector kit. Uh, it would be nice if it was adjustable from standing on the catwalk, but you actually have to get a ladder and um, loosen two screws to rise and lower it. So yeah, it would be nice if it was adjustable while standing on the catwalk. And there we have the LED rear lights as well. Yeah, they, they kind of sweep over there when you're, see that? <laughs> That's nice. And we have the wheel chock, uh, just one wheel chock. And your batteries are positioned at the back. It's on steel wheels. And yeah, your 430 liter diesel tank, as I said. So yeah, all the exhaust after treatment systems in these trucks take up so much space on the chassis. And the Actros here is no different. But yeah, we have a nice stainless steel finish on these little slats here as well. So that's quite nice attention to detail. So yeah, let's just open it up. Uh, now there is no bottom locker on the driver's side. As you'll see, if I move around, that's for the air intake. So yeah, it's the, I'll just give you a quick look at the driver's side locker here as well. So open that up. And yeah, so that's even bigger than the passenger one. 
that's a quite a good size and we have a net here as well on the door okay let's hop inside we've got the textile finish on the door uh, same finish here as before same coloring there on the door and nice silver finish on the handle so yeah four steps to climb up inside and left foot first up we go and yeah we have a full leather finish on the seats and two armrests on each seat and a full leather steering wheel and we even have the air gun here as well so yeah that is quite nice for cleaning out the truck and the carpets there you see the way they go around the base of the seat so let's just uh, show you we have the storage here and you can lift up that more storage and in here we have the fridge as well it's quite a decent enough size as well it's uh I've, there are bigger fridges out there but that's pretty okay but it would be even better if the fridge was on the driver's side and this was moved to the passenger side but it's probably set up for left hand drive configuration now you see there the bottom bunk i measured it that's 72 centimeters but the top bunk is 88 centimeters so that's quite a big top bunk um, one thing about it though is that when it's folded up like this there's not much space standing up here so i'm six foot two and my head is coming up to about here so when you're maneuvering around here um, i did knock my head off this <laughs> last night when i was sleeping in the truck so maybe a bit of a rubber finish on this would be nice just to stop your head from getting hurt by banging it <laughs> so yeah up here let me just show you what we have feature wise we can open and close the sunroof we have the blind here in front so that's very good electronic blind and down below here we can light up our mercedes sign uh, star at the front and this is very nice as well look at this look we can change the whole interior <laughs> ambient lighting here all around the sunroof so yeah eight different colors here so you just keep pressing it and you can have all the colors you want uh, i think green green is in there so there we go <laughs> there's green so yeah we've got the three lockers there above the windscreen uh, that one there is lockable and they are fabric lined as well and nice grab handles there at either side so yeah these are quite good on the seats as well look at the back here so you can just pull that up and you can maneuver your seat the seat back um, decent enough adjustment on the steering wheel as well uh, it would be nice if it had more uh, tilt back function on the steering wheel yeah we have storage down here as before and the drawer there the way it's angled towards the driver and we have the two cup holders here 24 volt and we have two USB-C connectors here so that's just an adapter and over here uh, uh, we do have a pull out table so that just slides out here made out of metal so that's quite robust and slide it back in there so you see there from the plaque as well we have one of 400 so yeah they all have the same badge it would be nice if they were individually numbered but there you have it all of them just have one of 400 on them well i suppose there would be a lot of arguing who's going to get one of 400 who's going to get 400 of 400 so uh, that's just the way it is they just put the one plaque on all 400 trucks so yeah it's a quite nice layout isn't it with the two digital displays we'll show you them shortly so yeah the top bunk um we have the same buttons so you see all the functions here we have all of them up on the top bunk as well so your night heater you can turn on your radio open and close the sunroof and your interior lights as well and this function here is for turning on the cameras so when you're in your bed and you have all the curtains closed you can turn on your cameras just to see what's going on outside uh, i've not seen this ever on a truck right so you put it on your steering wheel <laughs> look and a rest there and uh, you can use it as a drawing pad so that's quite good isn't it so uh yeah that's a uh, nice attention to detail from mercedes and here as well we have uh, a sheet for your mattress so yeah i think it's time to sit into the driver's seat and get it started up Okay, 
there we go, we'll close the door. So your monitor here for the mirror cam, we can adjust the angle of it. So if I press this button here, we can slide it over and get a different angle for the mirror cam. And we can also rise it up, raise up the view. So yeah, let's just get it back to its normal position. Slide it over and it will light up green once we're back to our normal position. There we go. And the wide angle at the bottom. And over on the passenger side. So yeah, you don't have the blind spot now from the normal conventional mirrors, but we do still have this normal mirror for looking down on the blind spot and also the front view mirror there as well. And you see the Actros there behind us and the wide angle there below. So the mirror cam does pan when you're turning uh, with the trailer just to keep as much of the trailer in view as possible. But these screens are so nice. <laughs> really like them. This is all touch screen and it's operated by these functions on the steering wheel. All these functions are operated for this screen. So yeah, and they both have home functions for each screen. So yeah, let's just go down through some of the display here. So we've got the rev counter here and you see there we can keep an eye of our driving hours and our air pressure gauges and let's just uh, flick over so it's like touch sensitive this you can flick over through the various displays and we can slide up and check our oil and our trip computer then we can slide back over to this side and get other information on our radio station so yeah it's quite well done the way you can just slide it over just like the Mercedes cars and of course our cruise control and over here for our phone functions and radio volume up and down but this display is so nice so uh, we have all our interior lights we can turn them on just to make it look all nice on the interior so uh, yeah let's just light them all up actually and give you a look at the interior ambient lighting and these lights are very good at night as well. They really do light up the interior. And we even have the blue lights here uh, all around the top there as well. And they're also down on the footwell. We have blue ambient lighting. We have the electronic handbrake. So yeah, you just uh, put your foot on the brake and press that to release it and pull it back to put it back on. And then we have our trailer stability assist then we have the ESP, the Electronic Stability Program here, and our Lane Keeping Assist. We have the Differential Lock, and that's just your level control for the back axle. And we have exterior lights. But yeah, the display here is uh, really nice. Let's go back to the home function here, and we'll go down through more functions. So if I click there, so you see we have information even tire pressure monitors here and even the temperature of the tires would you believe so let's go back out to the home function and we can slide over here so you see there we have our active drive assist we have the rocking function uh, in case you get stuck you can just rock the truck out and we have regeneration of our diesel particular filter we can do a service call but we won't we better not call them <laughs> and you see this as well, we have two tones for our reversing buzzer. So you can have low tone, high tone, and you can turn it off. And it's funny because when you do have it turned off, if you put the truck into reverse, watch this. The hazard warning lights come on automatically. So that's a nice touch from Mercedes. I do like that. And we have our hill start aid as well. So yeah, it's um, they've cut down on all the buttons on the dashboard. We have these kind of flat surface buttons here you know just for your temperature and uh, air conditioning and you see there the level control for the back axle and yeah back to that menu there back to the main menu and we have the satellite navigation so that's quite nicely done and we have our phone there pair up your phone and more radio stations there and your volume as well so yeah it's a uh, very well done from Mercedes. It's quite modern looking. I really do like it. And the steering wheel, nice feel to it as well. And even on the handle here, leather finish. And we have the Napa leather all around the top of the dashboard. So yeah, I think it's uh, just about time to get it out on the road, guys. Even this little holder here for your pen 
Yeah, let's get it out on the road and see what it's like. The Mercedes Actros Edition 1. Okay, off we go! got a straight six cylinder diesel engine, 2,600 newton meters of torque, 390 kilowatts, 530 horses. So yeah, just coming up to a roundabout here, we can see our clear vision, no mirrors getting in our way. So yeah, quite good entering the roundabout. And we do have it in power mode. We can of course switch it to economy mode and standard mode. So we'll just keep it in standard mode for the moment. So yeah, it's quite good to test the mirror cam out in the rain. Now I do have the heated lens on with the camera, so that'll clear off any beads of water resting on the lens. And you can see for yourself, it is still quite clear. Now I've said it before, it would be nice if the monitors were a bit clearer and that there wasn't so much of a bezel around the monitor. But other than that, Still quite nice to use, the mirror cam. Now these mirror cams, they can take quite a knock. So they can knock in 65 degrees, and they can knock outwards 35 degrees. So even if you do hit a tree, you can just knock it back out. So they can take quite a knock, these mirror cams. Now of course, I've mentioned before as well, you can get you know, temporary mirrors should you actually break a mirror cam. So they attach two bolts at the bottom, two bolts on top, and it will get you back out on the road. So hopefully that won't happen to you. So I've just set the cruise control there now to 80 kilometers and we're revving in at just over 1000 RPM. Now this truck also has predictive powertrain control. Now what this feature does is it reads the road ahead using GPS and it will keep you in the correct gear going up a hill, down a hill, so that's quite good. And it covers 95% of trunk roads around Europe and all the motorways. So Mercedes claims that this feature alone will save 5% on fuel using predictive powertrain control. So yeah, we do have lane keeping assist and active drive assist. So it will keep you in the center of the lane or you can set it for slightly to the left, slightly to the right, depending where you want to position the truck in the lane. So that's quite good. So you could nearly say it's semi-autonomous, but Mercedes say not to take your hand off the wheel. It's only an assistant feature. <laughs> so that's all it is. Uh, you're not supposed to take your hand off the wheel, but you can feel the steering wheel nudging left and right, just keeping you in the lane. But you can still see with all the rain outside, clear vision on the monitor. And you see there now we're going on to E mode because the truck has sensed that we're on a level ground and it's going to save fuel by keeping us in E mode. Even though I did set the cruise control to around 80 kilometers. So I'm just going to power it up slightly again because we're going to come off left here and go downhill and we will use our three-stage auxiliary brake. So you may hear the engine revving a bit. It's just trying to keep us in the correct gear to optimize the stopping power of the auxiliary brake. So yeah, that's it there now on the second stage. So it's quite a good test because we have a trailer here with nearly 22 ton on it. So I always like to test these trucks with heavy loads on. So yeah, that's it now at the third stage. Yeah, so I'm just going to press the brake pedal now. So that's not too bad for a three-stage auxiliary brake. A retarder would give you even better stopping power, of course. So we're just going to turn around at the roundabout now and make our way back up that hill. Okay, I just turned on the 
ambient lighting there just to get a bit of atmosphere in the truck okay let's uh, put it into power mode and see how it pulls this load up the hill we're in eighth gear yeah it's staying in eighth and into ninth yeah it's definitely feeling the weight going up that hill now so yeah it is quite a relaxing drive in the actros now even though the front axle is not on air it's still pretty comfortable but I would always recommend the air ride front suspension now of course if you want even more space in this cab you can go for the Giga Space Edition 1 if you want which will give you even more head space but yeah this would be pretty okay for most people so yeah I'll just be turning off here now off the dual carriageway and we'll coast up to the roundabout and using predictive powertrain control the truck uses its kinetic energy and it will keep it in the correct gear and it'll coast as much as possible so yeah we can slow right up here using the auxiliary brake that's quite good there now and you can still see all the rain outside <laughs> clear vision on the monitor so yeah just uh easing up to the roundabout but I do like having that clear vision out on the right hand side window I really don't like that now now here's where the mirror cam you see when you're going around the roundabout here you do have to kind of lean your head to the left just to kind of look around it on a big roundabout on a small roundabout it wouldn't be so bad but yeah um, you do have to kind of lean around to look around uh, this big monitor here but other than that it's pretty fine now you can see there on the passenger side we have the lines showing up they represent the safe distance to pull in should you overtake a vehicle you have those lines so that's quite good just to get better judgment after you overtake a vehicle when you're moving back into your lane and of course we do have the lane departure warning if I move slightly to the left there we go <laughs> I had to demo that of course but yeah that's a uh, quite a nice drive there all these advanced safety features and of course we have the 12 speed gearbox the Mercedes power shift 3 gearbox in the Actros so yeah let's make our way back to base and wrap up today's video and there we are back from the drive a couple of hoots of the horn there you go as I said already, they're only billing 400 of these units. Now, as you've seen yourself, the monitor does stay clear on the mirror cam, even though with all of that rain we had, it would be nicer, as I said, if the bezels were thinner and the monitor itself was a bit more crisper, the display. But these are improvements, I'm sure, that will come down the line in the future. But all of these assistant features on the truck, they're all designed to not only save fuel, but to make the drive more relaxing and comfortable for the driver. And the steering is fantastic. It's so light. Making all of these maneuvers around the yard with the heavy trailer just makes light work of it. So I really do like the steering on this Actros. But yeah, of course, you can get a more powerful one if you want 630 horsepower, if you want more pulling power. But I mean, 530 horsepower would be plenty power for most people. Yeah, a nice truck, the Actros Edition 1. But I do hope you liked the truck, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers!